Hi everyone. Today I'm going to read you this story called Take Your Pet to School Day. <laughs> I love the cover of this book as I've told you often. I choose the books because of their content but also because of their illustrations and this one just looks like so much fun to me. I think that's the bus driver with her hands up in the air not knowing what to do with all these pets. Let's see what the story's about. Oh, this is the back cover. It says, Dear students, at Maple View, we have a rule. You cannot bring your pets to school, but just for one special day, we've decided it's okay to bring your bunny, bird, or dog, your lizard, turtle, fish, or frog. So this Friday, don't forget, we'll see you and your favorite pet. Maple View School. <laughs> that looks like a porcupine. My goodness. That's the same letter. It's Friday here at Maple View. The students file in two by two with books and bags and pets in tow. Above, ahead, beside, below. My goodness, look at all those pets. <laughs> they start the day off with a song. The pets attempt to sing along. They howl with gusto, bleat with glee. <laughs> they shriek, they squeak their way off key. Enough, says Mr. Paul. It's clear these animals should not be here. Now, why would someone change this rule? Pets do not belong in school. <laughs> There's a horse. It's story time. The pets pile in. Ms. Libby, the librarian, begins to read, but she can't be heard above the din of beast and bird. <laughs> it looks a little chaotic, doesn't it, you guys? Could you imagine story time in school like that? They interrupt with barks and quacks. They hide in nooks and climb the stacks. So I see a kitty cat climbing up the bookcase and a snake and a porcupine and a turtle in the books. Oh my goodness. Ms. Libby sighs. It's very clear these animals should not be here. Now, why would someone change this rule? Pets do not belong in school. She shoes them out and off they go to Mr. George's studio. He tells the class, we'll paint today. The art show is a week away. The pets aren't neat and they do not share. The paint is spattered everywhere. <laughs> do you guys see the pig rolling around in the blue ink? I mean, the blue paint? He looks like he's having a good time. <laughs> Says Mr. George, it's very clear these animals should not be here. Now, why would someone change this rule? Pets do not belong in school. Time for snacks. The pets won't sit. They slurp and burp and drool and spit. Rudely chomping and loudly chewing, smacking, grunting, gobbling, spewing. <laughs> Oh my goodness, the mule is one of the funniest animals in the class. Who could imagine bringing, it's a horse or a mule, I'm not sure. It's awful big to go to school though. The principal is in a huff. Ms. Ellen hollers, that's enough. This is not the way we eat. Please settle down and take a seat. She looks around. It's very clear. These animals should not be here. 
Now, why would someone change this rule? Who said these pets could come to school? The teacher shrugged. I don't know. Not me. They don't belong here. We agree. Then Lucy whispers in her ear, you said it. We could just look right here. And there's the letter that said, dear students at Maple View, we have a rule you cannot bring your pet to school. But for just one special day, we've decided it's okay to bring your bunny, bird, or dog, your lizard, turtle, fish, or frog. So this Friday, don't forget, We'll see you and your favorite pet, Maple View School. Ms. Ellen says, for goodness sake, this isn't mine. There's some mistake. Who wrote this note? Speak up right now. All is quiet then. Meow. <laughs> We do not like your no pets rule. We miss our kids when they're at school. We thought it would be okay to come to school. It's just for one day. Love the pets. Seems like the pets wrote the letter. They wait in silence. Still, polite. She hems. She haws, she says, all right, but only if you clean this mess and you behave your very best. The pets agree. They scrub with care and they go to class and they take turns and share. They follow rules and listen well. They help with math and show and tell. It's happy there now. The school bell rings and it's time to go. The kids depart with their pets in tow. Ms. Ellen breathes a weary sigh. Good work, she says. Good job. Goodbye. Maple View School. Dear students, at Maple View, we've had a rule. You cannot bring your pets to school. But your friends have been so good, we've decided that you should. So pack your hedgehogs, hounds, and mice, and cats, and goats, and snakes, if nice. We love your pets, so it's okay to bring them each and every day. Maple View School. <laughs> Oh my goodness, it looks like the pets are in school and everybody's happy. Isn't that great? Oh, I love that story. Can you guys imagine if your school allowed you to bring your pets to school every day? I think that that's probably something that's only gonna happen in the storybook, but it was a really fun story to read. And I love the way the pets, once the principal told them to behave, that they did. And then everybody got along and enjoyed the rest of the school day. <laughs> that was fun. I hope you guys enjoyed that story. And that if you're in school today, that you're having a really happy day. I'll be back to read to you again soon. Don't bring your pet to school. Certainly without asking your teacher first. Have a great day, everyone.